glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Time for the fans to get settled in their seats. Warm-up just about over. ACC action about to start. Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the half. football game for you today it's time for the coin toss now presented by coke zero real coke taste zero calories enjoy everything Right is lined up to kick this one off and you can feel the thunder in the crowd as they await the start of this game Allen from the eight. Tackle at the 30 yard line. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Nice run, and he's brought down. Allen gains about four yards on the play. That makes it second and six. From their own 34-yard line. Second down. They go to the run, and he's tackled in the backfield for a loss. The offense couldn't get those linemen blocked, and they'll lose yards. Well, here the defensive linemen did a great job at sealing up the hole at the line of scrimmage. Complete intended for his wideouts. That'll make it fourth down, and they're going to have to punt. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down and a punt. Williams is the punter. And he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. Virginia Tech's offense really centered around this quarterback, and as he goes, the team seems to go. Kirk. Brad, over the weeks, I've been watching him on film, and one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes, and when you can do that as a quarterback and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. He's taken down right around the 42-yard line. Virginia Tech's got a guy that's in a running for a national award here, Herbie, and you know, the best time to talk about awards really is after you win them. Right now, it's all speculation. He's just got to play the game. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 42-yard line. They go to the left for a nice game. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. He's going to try and scramble. And they make the stop at the 32. That was a design pass play, but the quarterback decided to take it himself. Although I think this quarterback could be a little bit more patient in the pocket. He did move the chains. From the 32-yard line, first down. Fires that quickly, incomplete. There's one the quarterback would like to rewind because he has a wide open receiver and he just misfires. Let's go! 
Setting up blockers, the running back's got it on the screen. He's knocked out of bounds around the 24-yard line. That makes it third and three. It's third and three. Ball on the 24. He's tackled at the 11-yard line. They're eating up a lot of field on this drive. I'm really impressed with their ball control. Got the corner. He makes it to the nine. That makes it second and eight. Here's the eighth play of the series. Tackle at about the nine yard line. A yard, if that, on the quarterback keeper. When you've got the experience that this safety has, you can read plays very quickly and be in just the right position to make a stop near the line of scrimmage. And here's another third down. Incomplete, and that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. Virginia Tech could take the lead with this field goal. Kicks up, and it is good. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. Right, get set to kick this one away. From the seven. Right down at the 28-yard line. The Hokies are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. He's tackled right around the 44-yard line. I'll tell you what, this defense better start to get pressure on the quarterback. They're giving him way too much time back there to throw the football. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 44. Down at the 47. Call it a game of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. He's brought down in the open field. Gain of two yards. That'll bring up third and four. They're about four yards away here on third down. Three down, three down. Makes the grab past the marker. And down he goes at the 43. I like this wide receiver a lot. He knows where he needs to be on the field so the quarterback can get him the ball. He made a terrific play to keep this drive alive. Gets out to around the 32. It's first and 10. Ball in the 32. Throws it out and it falls incomplete. Jones was his intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and 10. He scrambled, and he's going to come up with a sack. I think the defense jumped the gun a little bit on that play. Offside, defense. And the defense gives up some free yards to the offense. Uh, you know, penalties can ruin a team's chances to win if they commit too many. 
It's second down, five to go. Ball on the 27. Ready. Easy, easy, easy. Buffalo, Buffalo. After a quarter of play, we've got a low-scoring defensive battle on our hands. The Hokies in front, 3-0. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. And he's taken down right around the 12 yard line. yard line it's first down decent run here right side Allen gets six yards on the carry this is the ninth play of this drive We are ready to launch an update from Houston. And for Rice, they're playing great football right now. Locked up at 7. 7-3 seven in this one. Miami is lining up to kick this one off. Glover takes it at the 8. And down he goes at the 37. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Tackle made at the 40-yard line. That's a game of three on the ball. That makes it second and six. From their own 40-yard line, it's second down. Tackled after positive yardage. That'll make it third and one. Got an opening. Gets out to around the 35. Gain of 19 on the play. First down. From the 35 yard line. First down. They hand it off. Runs right for a nice game. Call it a game of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Two times, two times. Now he tries to buy some time. Heading for the corner. There he goes. Knocked out of bounds at the 13. It's always a snap decision when you decide to tuck it and run. On that play, it was definitely the right move as he got the first down after a nice game. First and 10. Ball on the 13-yard line. He's scrambling. Loose football. And they fall on the loose ball. What was most impressive is how he followed the play and he just didn't give up on it. It was that effort that allowed him to come away with the fumble.
With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Miami is up four. He's on the run. They'll bring him down around the 10 yard line. From their own 10 yard line. Second down. There's a strike complete. He's down. come up short good tackle it looked like he might pick up a head of steam and get the first but the defense collapsed on him before he could get there these special teams have done it before blocking punts it looks like they're coming after this one and he's tackled at the 43 yard line momentum swings have been fairly even and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. And he just gets rid of it. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. From the 43-yard line, second down. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. And they get the sack. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. Grabs it, and he might go the distance. He's at the 30. He's pushed out of bounds at the 27-yard line. That makes it first and ten. First and ten. Ball on the 27-yard line. The sub package in there defensively in this five wide receiver set. He's scrambling. And he is drilled at the 24. Scrambling around, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receivers. That pass didn't look exactly right when it left his hand. Sometimes you don't get a great grip on the ball, and it comes out a little wobbly. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Gets it out in a hurry. Rose to the receiver, got it for the touchdown. White out here truly knows what he has to do to contribute to make his team successful. You knew they had to dial up something big, but these kids really dug deep for an absolutely huge play. Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point. And he tacks on the extra point. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. Houston, hello. And we've been keeping an eye on this one all day. And for Texas State, they've now moved out in front. Texas State on top, 14-10. Thanks, Reese. 10-7 in this one. Virginia Tech to kick. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 36. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. 
One more play now before we hit halftime, so they'll most likely throw one towards the end zone here. He wants it all. So both teams will go to the locker room looking to make some adjustments and find some second-half offense. 10-7, Hokies. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. This is Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. We've been looking forward to this game all week, and it has lived up to billing. A close game. You feel like it is going to be a great second half, and boy, we've got the perfect guys in the booth. What a reward today for Nestler and Herb Street to get this game. Well, you know, it's not a secret, Reese. They get the best game every week that we think is on the schedule, right? So they got this grave. It's great. It's close. It's going back and forth. I mean, what a treat to watch one of the best games of the year just unfolding in front of us. And more importantly, to hear the silky smooth sounds of Kirk Herbstreet and Brad Nessler. Does it get any better? I can only hope that Nessler and Herbstreet will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I have brought to the halftime show. Of course, they always do. That's it for us here in the studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half. Boy, I hope the second half's as good as the first. Just about set to start the third quarter in a tight one. Glover from the six. He's tackled at the 31. But well, this is a very competitive game. Just when you think one team has gained the advantage or the momentum, the other team comes fighting back, and it's going back and forth. This is almost like a basketball game. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Virginia Tech holds a field goal lead. Rose, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. From their own 31-yard line, it's second down. There's a strike complete. A yard, maybe two on the screen pass. down eight yards to go ball on the 33 yard line looking for his man incomplete that makes it Williams is waiting for the snap They'll bring him down at the 30-yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. And they make the stop at the 39. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Let's it fly. And this one falls incomplete. Try and scramble. Tackle at the 47 yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 47 yard line. Makes the catch and look out. He's taken down around the 41 yard line. That's a nice six yard gain. It's a decent pickup that time on a well designed play.
Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Room around the corner. Nice run, and he's brought down. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Here we go. Check, check. 98 Weasel. Nice catch. First down. He's knocked out. the 15 yard line first down and he's level at the nine yard line and this is the ninth play of the current drive Got their eyes on that goal line. He gets rid of this one. It's the 11th play of the drive. Incomplete intended for his wide outs. Big third and goal. Can the defense stop him? Finds the tight end for a touchdown. six on that one. As a quarterback, you like the tight end inside the 10-yard line because they have a knack for finding the opening. And then you can just drill it in there. He splits the uprights with the extra point. It was a 12-play, 71-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. to kick this one off. He's out to the 30. Brought down the 39-yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Gets out to around the 48. That's a deep 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 deep. Deep. That brings up second and one. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. And down he goes to 37 yard line. First down. From the 32 yard line, second down. Let's go, let's go. 
Handoff to the right. Tackled after a decent pickup. Gaining five yards. There we go. First down. support by the linebacker. The big guys up front took away the running lanes and he was able to get through for a loss. From the 30-yard line, it's second down. It's been a defensive masterpiece through three. Who'll draw up points in the final quarter? The Hurricanes lead it by four. We're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. And they get nice yardage on that run. Pretty obvious passing down here as they're faced with third and long. Tackles him hard at the 10-yard line. That's good for a game of 15 yards. That makes it first and 10. Here's the eighth play of the series. So now this offense finding themselves back in the red zone again after they gave the ball away on a fumble their last trip. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That's good for a game. Second, second and five. Ball on the five-yard line. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Touchdown, and now they're in front. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. And he adds the extra point. A nine-play, 61-yard drive. And they come away with seven points. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. They can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field. And a lot of the yards came on the ground. Clark takes it from the six. Tackle made at the 24-yard line. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Caught open field. They'll bring him down to the 35-yard line. From their own 35-yard line. First down. He's at midfield. Tackle made around the 45-yard line. it to the 45 yard line. That makes it second and ten. Second down, ten to go. Ball on the 45 yard line. And he hits him hard at the 45 yard line. Allen, the intended receiver on the play. That brings up third and ten. Less than three minutes in the game. Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. That'll make it fourth and ten. Wesley is back awaiting the punt.
He takes it at the 12. He wasn't breaking that tackle. What a hit. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That's a game of six on the ball. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Makes it out to about the 43. I think the defense is starting to be concerned about the outcome of this game. That was a huge first down by the offense. And at this point, you wonder if the defense can make a play to get their own offense back out on the field. Off the right side, doesn't get much. Good tackle. It's never good for a back's confidence to get tackled for a loss. But this guy knows that he's got to just keep at it, and the holes will start to open up. Second and 10. Ball on the 43-yard line. He gets another carry. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 45. Just under two to go in the game. Nice run to the left there. You know, great effort here by the ball carrier, but I think they need to pass in that situation most of the time. And they could really put their opponent in bad field position with a good punt here. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Here we are late in the fourth quarter in a very important and a very tight football game. And who's going to come to the forefront? We'll see who's got the most leadership. Going deep. Lays it out there. Missed him. Jones was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it From their own 20-yard line. Second down. He wants it all going long. No, incomplete. Bradford was the intended receiver on the play. Third down. Four down, four down. Let's go. Throws this one out to the left. Spikes the ball. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 42. Under a minute left. He's tackled around the 25-yard line.
Looks like they didn't get the playoff quick enough. And he hits the PAT. An eight-play, 80-yard drive. And a touchdown as a result. Brad, how about the guys up front? The offensive line giving the quarterback plenty of time to be able to read the defense and make the right throw. Miami lines up for the kickoff. Glover from the six. Gets to about the 27-yard line. The Hokies have got to be just a little bit careful that they lean too much on a star player here in this stage of the game. Yeah, but having a quarterback that understands what this defense wants to try to do to slow this offense down is very, very important. Now he's just got to stay calm, make good decisions, and move his offense down the field. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Wants to go long and done. And he is drilled at the 34-yard line. This quarterback doesn't seem to be having any trouble with the zone, does he? He recognized the receiver was behind the coverage, and he found him with a perfect strike. That's nice passing for a first down. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and ten. And they push him out around the 35-yard line. Makes it to the 27. Virginia Tech will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Halfback's got it on the quick throw, and they make the stop right around the 30. get the win 21 17 as we take a look at the highlights Kirk how would you summarize the action of this one well this one really could have gone either way Virginia Tech played a good game out there but they needed to make one or two more big plays and they couldn't do it who knows another couple of minutes and this one may have gone the other way That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.